Hey guys, so I called it in my last video when I predicted that ghostly ghosts were going to ignite a lot of new interest in Omnichain NFTs. You can watch that video right here, but case in point, here we are with a lot of new Omnichain projects such as Tiny Dinos, Omni Mosquitoes, and just last night, uh, Omni Birds dropped their free mint. Initially, there was a lot of chaos and FOMO as people flooded into the Ghostly Ghost Discord to try and figure out how to traverse or send their Omnichain NFTs to a different blockchain. That's why I want to make this video because I want to show you how to do it and help you learn because I couldn't find anything on YouTube and had to figure it out myself. So there's going to be two major ways. Uh, the first way is going to be the easiest. You're going to want to go to tofunft.com. This is a multi-chain NFT marketplace and you're going to want to connect your browser wallet. For me, I have MetaMask. So what you want to do is go to your NFTs, scroll down to the Omnichain NFT that you want to traverse. So this is my Omnichain NFT from Ghostly's, the very first one. And the birth chain was Polygon, that's why the background is purple. Um, here are some of the attributes and info. It is currently on Ethereum, so make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet when you do this. Uh, it won't really let you do it otherwise. So here you click on Traverse and you choose where you want to send it to. Gas is going to be paid in the native currency, meaning that in this transaction, because I'm on Ethereum, I'm going to be paying ETH to send this transaction. So if I want to send it to BNB, it'll show up in my wallet, same address on the BNB chain and unused gas will be refunded to my wallet. All you do is hit traverse. And right now the estimate is about 0 0.009, which is actually pretty low considering that ETH gas prices are in the thirties, which is really low for Ethereum. Um, all you have to do is hit confirm. And it should take anywhere from a few minutes to 30 minutes, depending on uh, which chain you're sending your NFT to and the network congestion at the time of the transaction. So pretty easy, right? But here's the thing. If it's a newer NFT project like OmniBirds was, uh, there won't be a traverse button. And so the second method is going to take a little bit more work, but you'll be able to get in the game before this button is out and have an advantage. This is going to require you interacting with the contract directly. You go to the NFT that you want to traverse and you look at the contract ID and blockchain. So here I click on the contract ID. It takes me to the token ghostly ghosts and look for a traverse transaction. That was the most recent. Okay. So for example, here is a traverse chain action. Click on the transaction hash. And you can see that the transaction fee was about 0 0.0068. So you want to kind of give yourself some room depending on how ETH is right now. Currently it's at 47 GUE with a priority fee of 1 GUE. So it's a little bit higher. At the time of transaction, their, ba their base was 40. So you might want to give it a little bit uh, more room to have the transaction go through. Going back to Ghostly Ghosts and I click on the contract address and then here you click on contract and click on write contract. Then click to web three. This is where it's going to ask you to connect to either scan. Um, and scroll down until you find traverse chains. So here's where you're going to want to fill it out manually. And here you would probably put in something like 0 0.08, just in case. Keep in mind that you are going to be refunded any unused gas money. Now the chain ID is going to be the number that corresponds to where you're sending it to. So you want to verify this and you can always just Google it. But from what I found, the number for chain ID, ETH is one, BSC is two, AVAX is 6, Polygon 9, Arbitrum 10, Optimism 11, and Phantom 12. As they add more chains to the Traverse functionality, you're going to want to look those up and make sure it's up to date. Uh, so if I want to send it to BSC, I just type in 2. And then for the token ID, it's going to be the number on your NFT. For me, it's 6633. So I would do that. And then I would click right.
And so here it's telling me that I might have to up, bump it up even more and that traffic is pretty congested. So yes, so it's going to tell you this gas fee has been suggested by etherscan.io and overriding it may cause a problem with your transaction. Network is busy, gas prices are high, and estimates are less accurate. So you can always go in here and up it to 1.5, max fee. Uh, if you recently checked, it was around 40, so maybe 50, right? So you save it and then you click confirm and then wait for it to show up. It should still be in the same wallet address, but if you change the chains and go back to Tofu NFT, you'll be able to see that it's moved by looking at the blockchain that it's on. So far, it seems that traversing to ETH is going to be the most expensive, but this is where the arbitraging opportunities lie. You want to compare the floor price of all chains and volume. Look for where you can pick it up the cheapest and factoring in the traversing costs, make a bet on where you think you can sell it for higher. This actually ends up creating a very um, even floor all over but it does take some time and that's where you want to arbitrage. And as I said in my last video, ETH is the king of NFTs but that may change as more and more people understand and learn how to traverse omnichain NFTs. Uh, there may not be a lot of volume on one chain, say BSC, but if the floor price is low enough, you can make an easy profit scooping it up there and then selling it on wherever the floor price is higher, usually ETH at this point. Ironically, this is going to attract and increase volume to where the floor price is lowest and hence the arbitrage opportunities actually result in pretty even floors on chains and volume. And obviously the arbitrage opportunities are always going to shift as the omnichain market matures and traders get better at it. So those are the two ways that you can traverse your omnichain NFTs right now and how to arbitrage. I hope you found this video as helpful as hitting that like and subscribe button. If you want more NFT alpha on upcoming hot projects, 10Xs, then join me for my next NFT live stream on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. PST. I'm gonna be moving my live streams to Tuesdays to give more breathing room for my weekly videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.